To his generals before the Battle of Leuven by Frederick the Second. It is not unknown to you, gentlemen, what disasters have befallen here while we were busy with a French and rageous army. Shevetnitz is gone, Duke of Bevon beaten, Bres look on, all the war stores there, a good part of Silesia gone, and fact my embarrassment would be at the impossible pitch, had not a boundless trust in you and your qualities which have been so often manifested as the soldiers and sons of your country. Hardly one among you had has distinguished himself with some noble, memorable action. All his services to state and to me I know well and will never forget. I flatter myself before that in this case to nothing will be wanting which the state has a right to expect of your valor. The hour is at hand. I should think I had done nothing if I left the Austrians in possession of Silesia. Let me apprise you, then. I intend, in spite of the rules of art, to attack Prince Karl's army, which is nearly twice our strength wherever I find it. The question is not of his numbers, of the strength of his position, always by courage, by the skill of our methods, we will try to make good. The stepper must risk or everything's lost. You'll speed the enemy or perish all of us before the batteries. So I read the case, so will act on it. Make this my determination, known to all officers of the army. The worthy man for what work is now to ensue, and say that I hold myself entitled to demand exact fulfilment of orders. So you will reflect that you are Prussians. Can I think that you will act unworthily? But if there should be one or another who dreads to share all dangers with me, he can have his discharge this evening and shall not suffer the least approach from me. I knew it none of you would desert me. I depend on your help, then and on victory, as sure. The cavalry regiment that does not on this instant, when orders given, dash for plunge into the enemy, I will directly after the battle unhorse and make it a garrison regiment. The infantry battalion, which, meet with what it may, shows the least sign of hesitancy, loses its colours and its sabres in the cut trimming from its uniform. A good night, gentlemen. Shortly we have either beaten the enemy, or we'll see one another again.